Hi, Dr. Bella speaking, checking in from uh, day two uh, Heathrow Hilton uh, Allergan Dermal Filler Training Course with Maurizio De Maio, and I would like to give a final summary of the training uh, day. So, the most important point is what we need to kind of uh, consider is our communication. Uh, I have this discussion with my patients and filler treatments and facial aesthetics in general is not about vanity. It's about our communication and our social skills. I don't know whether you are aware of that or communication, the words I'm telling is just 7% of my communication. And the way I speak and my body language is the other 93% of our communication. And as we age, the aging process uh, puts a different um, emotions, negative emotions on our face. So for example, as we age, we develop signs of angriness, uh, sadness, tiredness, and all these kind of negative emotional attributes. And uh, as we live our lives and socialize, uh, these negative emotional attributes influence or, or the quality of our lives, the quality of our social lives. So improving these attributes is more than just pure vanity. And uh, what I've learned in these two days from Maurizio uh, Di Maio, who is a plastic surgeon from Brazil, is first of all, the, the main point of this treatment is to uh, kind of identify these uh, social and uh, emotional attributes. So for example, there is sadness in the eyes, there is angriness and these kind of things, sagginess, and we need to treat these emotional attributes. So we never ever chase lines anymore. So we don't put fillers in the nasolabial lines. We don't put filler in this and that line. We improve uh, or communicate non-verbal communications uh, uh, through changing uh, emotional signals that we send out. And we have the codes. We have the clear codes, the, the MD codes that we can use. It's straightforward. So the, the difficulty really and the, and the art in filler treatments is uh, identifying these emotional attributes, whether uh, the, the main thing on a patient's face is anger or sadness or sagginess, and we have the codes. So we don't really need to think about, we have the codes. The second challenge is to, to kind of uh, have the, 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 the quantity, the number of syringes to uh, deliver the, the improvement. So for example, if we want to treat sagginess, uh, sag sagginess we need to treat uh, the cheekbone area, the temples, and, and the chin area, which gives this kind of two-dimensional uh, uh, pull, and it improves the jawline, the sagginess, and this one in itself requires eight syringes, for example, to treat. So, so the whole filler uh, facial aesthetic tr uh, treatment is moving towards uh, analyzing, recognizing, and improving uh, nonverbal communication, um, emotional and social attributes with using the MD codes and de delivering the, the treatments. And most of the patients who treated on stage throughout the two days, we put in 12, 16 syringes. So this is the amount needed to, to, to achieve, the achieve the improvement that we are kind of uh, looking for. Uh, so that's my summary. And I hope it helped you to un understand more the facial aesthetic treatments and uh, either as a patient or uh, a fellow uh, practitioner. And uh, if you have uh, questions, just let me know. Otherwise, have a lovely rest of your day and see you soon. Bye for now.